What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Type 1 Lifting Podcast Shorts. In this episode, I have the owner of Core City CrossFit Kids, Helen Taylor. Uh, this is an amazing story of how she started this nonprofit organization to help out the kids in Detroit uh, to become healthier, more confident, and you know, just being more fit and just learning the uh, CrossFit methodology. So f- the full episode, uh, I'll link down below in the description. So I hope you guys enjoy. This was like one of my one of my favorite episodes, just learning about uh, what this person has done for the community of Detroit. Hope you enjoy. So what what is I, I forgot to ask this earlier, but like what's the age range for that you have your kids? Obviously, is it like elementary school all the way to like high school or like what what, what what's like the cutoff? So the cutoff's the ninth grade. Um, okay. and my youngest is third grade. I um I I um don't have the 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 manpower for one to do younger kids um or older you know high school we could probably like if they're in 10th grade they could probably come into our regular adult class yeah um and I can sponsor them um if that you know I think I had one kid who was in 11th grade that we put in the adult class um because he was you know too old for my uh, kids uh and teen program but yeah, third grade's the youngest. I okay. uh, I know my I have to go with my strengths, and my strengths are not the young young kids. I never coached those in martial arts, and I never co- you know had coached those. And not that I don't care for kids that young. It's just not my strength. It's no. just not something I'm used to doing or or um, want to spend a whole lot of time doing. Yeah, I want to I want to be able to give them more meat mm-hmm. and yeah. less. Um, and less games. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. Games are fun. We play games. Um, I think, you know, you can, you could, you know, but I, I just think you can make fitness in general, just fun. I yeah. So, it. so do those, do those kids like do the exact same thing that my kids oh, do? They, I, uh, I have so much fun teaching them because they get so excited. Mm-hmm. You would, some of the videos I have there, I mean, so it makes me want to cry because they're so happy. Um, some kids don't ever get acknowledgement and, and affirmation and don't get recognized. And, and here we're trying to make sure that they, you know, that they are, um, that they, they can see that they have potential and they can see that they can do things and, yep. and, and that they can be good. And it's just exciting. And uh, I, I just love it. And um, I love seeing their reaction. And some of them, you know, will dance. And you know, <laughs> it's just awesome. Yeah. It's just awesome. So did they did they get like really hooked at like the first first session? Or like, obviously, like kids, some kids are different too. But like, how long does it typically take for a kid to be like, okay, I love doing this. This is this is my jam now. Yeah, I I have um several who started with me from the very beginning of like um the very be- la- the end of last year uh, school year, and they're back this year, and they came over the summer. You know, um they would you know so there's a sur- I have a a core group that just is hooked. Mm-hmm. They're just like, and they they're obsessed with clean and jerks. They just want a clean and jerk and, you know, back squat and, uh, and, oh, and bar muscle ups. They just can't, they want to get that bar muscle up. They're yep. just obsessed. Yeah. So Wednesday is a big bar. We're going to bar muscle up progression day, you know, cause they want to get this bar muscle up. Um, so yeah, I have a certain core one, a core group, and then another group that's just, um, like, you know, some kids are just very scared and shy. Um, uh, some are, some are don't want to um don't want to try it don't want to get hurt don't want to be sore don't want to put in an effort mm-hmm. you know so you get a variety of kids you know and i don't want to force anyone to do it i want them to be there because they want to but i you know i try to push them a little bit to yeah. at least give it a shot yep. give me at least a couple a month or two you know and then if you don't like it you know go to band or go do something else mm-hmm. you know i don't care but i just you know i want them to at least try yeah. So do you, so if like, let's just say someone has like a, an, an issue with like one of the movements, do you kind of like, 
scale it down a little bit more so they can just do it and they'd be like oh, listen yeah. and like listen you just you just did the work you just did the movement but it was the scale version yeah oh absolutely i mean it, i we have i mean i don't they don't have a clue too as to what's scaled and what's not you mm -hmm. know but you know i have you know pvc pipes and i have pvc pipes filled with sand and then i have training bars and then i have the regular male female bars yeah they all, you know, all the training bars, everything looks the same as the adult bars. So they all look pretty similar. Um, and the PVC pipes are just what we all begin with anyway. So I, yep. always, you know, just don't even make an issue of it. Like, hey, I'm just like, hey, pick this up. This is what we're going to do. Um, and, and then we say, okay, now that you're ready, let's go something heavier. Let's grab that sand. The one mm -hmm. with the sand in it, you know, and then let's get the training bar. And, um, and then now I have kids using, you know, a 35 pound bar. Um, and, and usually, unless I have an older, um, usually we stop there with, you know, the 35 pound bar, I could add weight to it, but depending on the movement, but we don't go to a 45 pound bar yet. So do you, do you, do you help like feed some of these kids too, or like, or do they like, yeah. do like afternoon snacks and everything? Yeah, we do that um, every class. And basically, if I, if I know of a need, we'll try to meet it. Um, I provide them with snacks um, after class. Um, they get water and juice or fruit. Um, Oliver, sorry. No, you're good. Um, I have two. Um, one's a puppy, and he's just nuts. Um, he's just nuts. He just wants to play all the time. So um, I... Um, I do have like fruit drinks and fruit snacks and, and stuff if they need it, like before class too, if someone comes in, I have sometimes kids that, you know, miss lunch or didn't get a good lunch and come in and they're like, I'm hungry. I, you know, I want to eat something. So I, you know, we'll definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is, is it heartbreaking for you kind of seeing like some people, some kids that can't eat anything or don't eat anything and then come to your class and like ask that? Yeah, yeah for sure. Absolutely. And yeah. it, it's heartbreaking, you know, when you, um, it, it's just a lot of things I, I, I see sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so we just try to meet the needs, you know, when we see them, we see, um, we supply tennis shoes and workout clothes, um, food, and, and our program is free. Nobody pays for it. Mm -hmm. You know, Very cool. Nobody, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 